our ministry accountant, Patrick's here, and he could tell you, we, I don't know what year it was, but we've hit that place because we've tried. We've tried to, to you know, our projected budget last year was $7 million of expenses for the year. It ended up being $13 million something. So you, you, you miss your budget by double. That's going to bankrupt people. If someone would have told me that last February that it's seven, I was nervous about seven, that it was going to be 13, I'd have just died on the spot. But it's not like we were willy-nilly spending money. If a church grows, the expenses grow. So I just made the choice, no, we're not going to pull back in fear and say, well, no, we can't move into this building because now we'll have to pay money every week, plus now we'll need a bigger sound system, and that's going to be a quarter million. No, I'm going to find out whether the God that's growing the church has the money to pay for it. Or whether he's one-dimensional. Well, I, I answered your prayer and sent you a lot of people. But Jonathan, I'm sorry to report we, we forgot it was going to cost a lot of extra money. No, God's not stupid. The same God that opens the doors for you to walk through will open the windows of heaven to pour out the provision to pay for the advancements that you make. And I want to tell the many business owners that this church attracts for some reason that I want you to remember that. God never expects you to pay for the next level that he's opening up with the last level's finances. As you have faith to walk through the door, God will show you a plan and give you instruction to pay for that, like you guys, because it's, it's exciting. Trust me, like what you did, I, I just did a year ago. It's exciting to get the building. When we had the last building donated to us, 107 Patton, it's exciting. Then it's still 1.2 million to build it out. That we, the, Guess what? That all came in too. God's not stupid, and God's not broke. He opens the door. Look at the instruction from Elijah from God. First instruction, fear not. Some people stay broke because though they're miserable, they're at least comfortable and, and know how to survive on whatever little amount of money, like her. I'm going to die, but I'm at least comfortable living like this. But God is asking you to, by faith, step up to the next level. Trust Him to go forward and watch God do for you what only God can do. Between that lady from St. Louis telling me about her daughter, and then Pastor Angel and a litany of other people, the Lord laid something on my heart last night for offering time about focusing your faith. With, when you don't turn, your, like if your faith is a faucet, if you leave it shut off, fear comes in. You're having the circumstances of life dictate to you how you believe in what's going on. So why do people see miracles when we fast? Without going into, back into all the teachings we did for 21 days, I'll tell you one thing that 21 days does is it gets people to settle down and some people for the first time in their life start answering the question on the inside. What are you believing God for? What are you believing God to do for you? If you ask most, not, not unbelievers, if you ask Christians that, well, whatever he wants to do. That's not how faith works. Mark chapter 5, the woman with the issue of blood said to herself, I know when I touch him, I will be made well. She decided by her faith what she was going to get. Faith is the substance of things hoped for. What are you hoping for? Faith can't work until you start to have a desire to go forward. So what happens on the 21-day fast is people, for the first time, some of them, maybe it takes till day 8, where their, their flesh actually quiets down enough, and, and your routine's broken. You're going to church twice a day, listening to the Word online. So by eight, day 8 or 9, day 11, you start getting this thing rise up in you. It's, it's like, uh, I haven't talked to Pastor Scott and Pastor Angel, but I, you go from saying like, well, there's no buildings here. And we're not going to be, that lot's too small, so we're stuck. And Wellsburg doesn't have any room to, what about that building? What if God, you start getting your faith pointed, and instead of repeating what's against you, you start speaking by faith and calling those things that are not as though they are.